So today I am fixing my Hobie. Well, I'm gonna destroy my Hobie and then I'm gonna fix it after. A uh, guy I bought it from had uh, hit a rock in Lake Wallenpawpack, I think, going full speed. And the drive kind of got thrust into this well here. So I patched it up. I mean, I got it fixed a couple of times, but not permanent like. And then, uh, the hole got bigger and bigger and bigger as I as I used it more and more. And uh, without the drive, I've been using it, and I just patched that hole up with uh, JB Weld. And nothing, I, I mean nothing. I've used epoxy, I've used silicones, I've used all kinds of stuff. Nothing sticks to the Hobie, with the exception maybe of asphalt, asphaltum, bitumen, bitumen but that's not structurally significant. So today, I am going to cut a hole in my front hatch to obtain some plastic, and then use that plastic to patch the hole, and then I'm gonna patch the hole on my, on the front deck, on my hatch, with uh, some HDPE2, a Home Depot bucket lid, to be specific. And if that doesn't work, for the, uh, the, the, the hatch, I can always jam a piece of wood and silicone on top of it and bolt it down and that would be sufficient. The drive well, well, I mean, if I can't fix the hole in the drive well, I can't use the drivetrain. I can use it with, uh, with oars, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a Hobie with the pedals, does it not? So I gotta try to repair this thing. It's been a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to using it in the near future. So Dylan's going to be helping me today. If you just want to see the repair after this long-winded intro, after my two-minute intro, go to uh, go to this number, or over here, or up there, or maybe down here. But yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go hang out with Dylan and Jigs for a minute, get everything assembled, and I brought. I brought a lot of stuff with me to, to accomplish this. Been thinking about it a long time. It's gonna be awesome. I hope it works. I really hope it works. If not, I need to buy a new kayak, I guess. Damn it, Jim. Oh, there it is. Right? Yeah. You see, I even have this, it's the same, yeah. same K. Mm -hmm. Are pretty similar. And here's my little wings. And I used glue chip, which has Right. And I Fractures thought that I it. thought that looked like wings. Yeah. I made them. I did it out of paper first and taped them on, and they looked like the right uh -huh. size to me. So you're gonna but, make a jig, you said, right? You know what? It, uh, there's a the a split in the work table down there. Yeah. It fits right in there and it stands right upright. Oh, I mean for the wings to have the wings up on an angle. Oh, you I could... can prop something up under yeah. there. But no, I mean to hold this securely it's yeah. there's a there's a gap you between could probably the take a piece of paper put your your paper down and then stuff the key in it and then just lift up on the edges of the paper except you have to watch out because oh, you're using lead solder yeah. and lead aluminum and foil that would work yeah. yeah make balls out of it or something yeah. no yeah in fact i can even line the the thing with it so that it doesn't catch the table on fire right but look how many i have ow I, I painted two more and I've got all of these. Oh, you're gonna make more than one. Whoa. I don't know. Oh, I could awesome. have a I could have a whole little arsenal. What about the shape of it? Flying. You make them like narrower and longer? It could make them any any shape. But I these just look really cute. I made several different things and uh -huh. it's what I wanted. So it might not be Yeah, that's glue chip. That's awesome. You just did that? I just ground, I just came up from downstairs. I just finished grinding it. I gotta go destroy my kayak. Oh, surprise, surprise, you're in bed still. All right, buddy. Oh my God, you're scary, Jace. You're scary. Go ahead, go downstairs. Go downstairs, you maniac. Oh my Lord. Why you gotta punch me? Oh, Dylan's no, gonna be pissed. No. I'll say hi now because you're what you you calm down a little bit. Hi buddy. Hi 
Hi, bud. Are you so excited? We're gonna fix the Hobie today, Jigs. We're gonna fix the Hobie. All right, Dill. So here's the game plan. Yeah. That's the hole we got to fill. I got it backed with some aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. I got a uh, custom poker to jam it down in there. We need two pieces of two pieces that size of Hobie plastic. Maybe the second one a little larger. And as I understand, I'm, I'm not 100%. It has to be Hobie plastic because it's proprietary. I might be wrong with this, but this we're gonna get it. So we're gonna cut a piece from here. Put some tape across that afterwards. Or something? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna mend that with HDPE2, high density polyethylene too. This should stick to it, but this isn't as rigid as this has to be. So we're gonna mark a spot there. Probably twice the size, maybe three times the size of that. And then they're gonna go in the toaster oven at 450 for uh, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna heat this part up with the, with this. Mm -hmm. I altered the nozzle to kind of focus the heat. We're gonna heat that oh, up. That thing broke the other day. Does it work? No. No. I'm joking. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the only reason I'm over here to do this. Be clear um no oh, and i need your help so we're going to heat this up until it gets glassy and then that thing's going to go ding and then we're going to take it out of there and i have a butter knife in the yellow bag yes. and we're going to put it on there and then we're going to put it on there and then push it down with this let it cure and then we're going to put another patch on top of that that's the game plan, Dill. You think it'll work? And then we're going to patch the, uh, the hole that I make up here with the HDPE. And there'll be a dark line underneath the, uh, the Hobie. I've been scared about this for... Dill, how long have I been talking about doing this? I've done it in my head like a hundred times. I hope it works, man. If it doesn't work, you want to buy a, you want to buy a kayak cheap? Yeah, I'll patch it with, with some some uh, flex seal well the yeah. um Phil Swift made a whole boat out of that stuff yeah the um, have you tried flex seal if this doesn't work it is still usable as a paddle kayak and I'll just have to get another one what do you mean you just put the plug in there yeah oh there's a plug there well no the um the uh JB weld the JB weld worked really well Okay. But it's not structurally... It, I can't rely on the JB weld if I'm under the bridges at Jeez. night by myself in November. Can't rely on the JB weld. I need Hobie plastic for it. So let me okay. get cut, let me uh, get set up and we'll cut that out. Alright. Yeah, I know. I'm, a, I'm scareder than you, Bill. Yeah. God, I can't believe I'm actually doing this, Bill. Save all those shavings. <laughs> if I could get enough of them, I thought I'd take it a plane to the one side of it. And just like, yeah, just skiver it off a little bit of it at a time. <laughs> one piece at a time. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like um, yes. like, like a hair transplant. No, but for a boat. Like, more like um, Johnny Cash. Oh, one piece at a time? Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually I'll have a kayak build a whole kayak out of this kayak <laughs> secondary paper thin one yeah so this should give me enough patches for a lot in case we need to redo it uh -huh. Take that one off and you make one hole here and then you can get everywhere. 
Oh, yeah, Dylan, I knew I brought you here for something. <laughs> I thought of putting a piece of wood here, like a little bit wider than this, mm -hmm. and a piece of wood on the back. And just sandwiching them and, and using yeah, some, using uh, some silicone whatever. or something. I but mean, that's an easier place to patch. Well, I think the lid will patch it. Yeah. Uh, I need the drill. Where'd you put the drill, Bill? Yeah, it's in the front. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the rear. That's the front from where I'm looking. It's the aft. What do you call me? I did have the chips that I pulled out from that hole. Mm -hmm. I was gonna bring them today. I forgot them. I think I put them in the cup holder. If I was to put a piece of wood here, I could mount um, a camera up here, like a camera mount or like a rod holder or something like that. A cucumber in there or something. Not a cucumber. It's a little wet now, thank you. You dropped it, it's wet in here. Okay. So, I think we need a piece. That will actually do I it. was just filming nothing. <laughs> that, I stumbled on that width, I didn't plan it that way. About that wide, maybe that wide. Uh, make it like about a a third to a half wider than it needs to be. No, because I'm gonna be. It, this one's gonna get depressed into the hole, and then another one's oh, gonna okay. have to go on top. All right, yeah. So, yeah. so you're just putting that one on top. Um, yeah, I'm filming nothing. Plug the uh, the oven in uh, 450, 4, 425, 415. Uh, sanded it or filed it down so that it just barely fits in there because this this hole um, goes up this way. So I'm gonna lay it in like this and then oh, cross my fingers and hope for the best. I think though. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put it in the uh, in the oven now. And I have this thing cut to just about the the same size, so I'll be able to put it here. Right, put it down here, scoot it off on the front end, and then push it in using my my piece of tree bark. I think that'll do it, Dill. Oh God damn! Wish me luck. You dress strangely, Dill. He dresses strangely. My mom was right. Oh, I love the sweater though. That's that's quality. That's the stuff. weirdest. That's the weirdest thing I own. Yep. So here we go. Why don't you just melt some army guys in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's looking a little bit wet on this side. here with a blowtorch. That's an option. I didn't want to get it right off the bat. Put it on high. I kind of want to take it slow, though. I don't want to damage it any more than it already is. You know what I mean? Alright, that is... That looks pretty wet. Um... Here, can you go grab that? Uh, here, take this and just keep doing what I was doing. Can you film too? Maybe not. 
don't put it directly on it. On and off, and off, and on. Oh, that's goopy. It's stuck to the foil, though. Fuck. Smells like an army guy. All right, take it off of there for a minute. Where's my stick? stick? Yeah, you can eat it a little bit. Watch where you're leaving that thing, though. I gotta get that foil out. It'll slide right off. Should, should slide right off. That's better. Oh, that's hot. Oh, you did have it on high. Oh, dude, first layer success. Right? That was pretty good, yeah. Holy shit, Dylan. All right, um, we need to keep it from sticking to the foil. Maybe we do a test with the next one. That's probably put, hot, though. Put um, non-stick spray or something no, on it. No, put like some uh, powder. Yeah, like baby powder, something on the. Uh, we'll cut a few small pieces and test it. We'll test some uh, non-stick cooking spray. As you're such a big fan of that, but we don't have any in the house, by the way. Oh my God, Dylan, that almost that almost looked like I, I knew what I was doing. It definitely fused to the other plastic. There's a, a hole tiny, in it. Yeah, a little tiny one, but the, you know, like we need two, two or layers. three layers there oh, anyway. So yeah. Oh, Dude. That's very hot. Almost. Oh, almost did it. Dill, Jigs! We almost did it, buddy! I thought you meant how I'm gonna wipe it. I'm gonna shield this part. What's that? Is it so thin? Yeah, I think that's a good thing to do, right? Till the last second. Yeah. Well, it's wet already, doesn't it? Kind of. Alright, again, I'm going to hand this off to you. Well, I'll make sure it's heated through and not just on the surface, maybe. It only really needs to bond to the surface. Yeah. And yeah, the surface is definitely wet. Right? paper you're saying flip it up kind of kind of just put it get it down to that level and then just turn it in like that get it down get it down on the level flush oh it, i then see turn it in you know okay yeah flip it yeah there you go peel that off Fuck there you go. Hey, dude i like it push that in not too hard you don't want to create a hole. You want to leave as much material. You don't. You don't need material on the sides. You need it in the middle. Yeah. So maybe push from the sides towards the middle. Oh my God, Bill. Oh, that's that's feeling pretty good. It's feeling good. We're just gonna mend that a little bit, maybe. This glove is not gonna get in there right though. Maybe I just use the stick. Kind of press it in with the stick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. I can't see that side. How's it going? Did Jake just knock that down? Oh, there we go, dude. Ah, there we go. How's up? 
<laughs> I think that's it though. I mean it's gonna it's gonna take the shape of it. Thermoplastic. Yeah. I think we just drill the two holes, like back this with it, drill the two holes in it. Yeah. Three hours later. Finally made it home. To be clear, I have never repaired a kayak before I've ever worked with plastic. The, uh, the front hatch, I have a piece of wood somewhere around here, some uh, poplar. Might get a piece of hardwood from Dylan to repair the front. It's only temporary. It's only so I can go fishing tomorrow. In the, or I'm gonna have it with me, just in case. Just in case, fishing the shadow line at night. But hell yeah, I got a, I got a relatively safe and functional kayak for fishing at night under the bridges and I am really I haven't had that for 10 months, easily 10 months, and that's a beautiful thing. The most successful day in 10 months. Yeah, probably in 10 months. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you all for watching. Have a, a wonderful day. That's about it. I hope you're safe. Go fuck your hat. Bye.